Hi guys, how are you doing this morning? Did you have a good weekend? Oh right, well guess what? Are you at your house? I'm at my house too. So now I'm gonna be doing Bible and math from my house and Miss Marquez will be doing some lessons of phonics and some reading time from her house. Isn't that so much fun? I'm so excited. Do you guys remember what we were learning about last time we were together? We were opening up those eggs and figuring out the journey. Now, what I didn't tell you guys yet is the journey is to the cross. And we are gonna figure out these journeys to the cross. All right, are you ready? Oh, right, let me go ahead and get those eggs out. Now I have these eggs open that we've already gone over. So we're gonna review them really fast. Are you ready? The first one has the donkey. Do you remember the donkey? Well, remember, in Matthew 21, 9, the multitudes who went before those and followed cried out, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Jesus rode into town on a donkey. And you know what? That means he was royalty. Now the second one that we opened was the pink one and the pink one is the coins remember worth 30 cents 30 okay ready then the one of the 12 called Judas went to the chief and said what are you willing to give me if I deliver you to him and they counted out to him 30 pieces of silver <gasps> he was taking money to turn in Jesus and that was really sad Remember, that would be really sad if somebody said, how much would you give me if I give you someone else? <gasps> he was willing to take money. Do you want someone to pay for you? Well, guess what? Somebody did pay for you. And we're going to learn about that towards the end of this story. But you know what? It was not a sad pay. It was a very, very happy way that they paid you. And his name was Jesus. And we're learning about his journey. Let's keep going. Now, the next one that we opened was the purple egg that had the cup. Do you remember what the cup represented? Well, the cup represented the... He gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink from it all of you they were eating and he was passing around the bread and he was passing around the cup and the cup inside he was telling everybody to drink it and it represented jesus's blood now we're going to learn a lot of things about jesus's blood some things happened to him that made him bleed that were really sad but he gave that blood for a special reason and we're going to keep on going to find out what reason he gave his blood now the next egg that we open were those praying hands. This is one of my favorite ones, the praying hands. And do you know why that's one of my favorite ones? In Matthew 26, 39, he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed saying, Oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will, Lord. My favorite thing about these praying hands is that Jesus trusted the Lord and he said, not what I want, Lord, but what you want, Lord, I will do. And you will learn through this journey that Jesus followed everything that God wanted him to do. And that's what we should do too. Trust God. Sometimes it's scary, but we are going to follow him and find the light at the end of the tunnel. Now we're going to open two more eggs today. Let's see what eggs they are. I have a green egg. Urgh, let's open it up. Oh, wow. It has this piece of leather. This piece of leather represented the whip. In Mark 15, 15. So Pilate, wanting to gratify the crowd, released Bar Barbara to them and delivered Jesus. 
after he had scourged him to be crucified. He used this whip. And can you imagine this being very big? This is just a tiny like my fingers. Now remember how God has the whole world in his hand? This whip got bigger. And they were taking it and they were hitting Jesus. Hitting him. Hitting him. Before they led him to the cross. Now this is part of his blood. He was bleeding because they were hitting him. It was almost like when you take those sticks and we were hitting, hitting him with a stick. It was whipping him, whipping him. And that is very sad. Let's see what's next. When they were done whipping him, this is a crown of thorns. Now this is like if you get a bush with, if you could look really close, there's some sharp edges on there. If you get a big stick that has pokey things sticking out of it or a big vine that has pokey things sticking out of it that is like the crown of thorns and they put it on his head and they crushed it down into his head that was very sad now in matthew 27 29 when they had twisted a crown of thorns they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying hell king of the Jews they thought it was funny they were making fun of him they didn't believe he was the king of the Jews and they were saying look at him he's the king of the Jews they were making fun of him when they put this on now again that is very sad That is very sad. We've learned about a lot of sad things that happened to Jesus. But you know what? There was a reason. And you will find out the reason soon. We're going to find out what is the reason that all these sad things have to happen to Jesus. Jesus was here for me and for you. And we are going to find out why. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed opening those eggs. We're going to open a couple more eggs tomorrow, and we are going to see why. What's happening? What's going on? Why is this happening? We're going to find out by opening some more eggs tomorrow. All right, friends. Now, I have two new songs for you today. The first one is about our light. You want to let your light shine, right? So we're going to put a little light up like this, and we're going to say this little light of mine. Are you ready? One, two, three. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine, hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, friends, make sure you're letting your light shine and tell others about the eggs that we have learned from. The next song we're going to sing is about what we do and who's watching us, all right? Follow along with me. Oh, be careful, little hands, what I do. Oh, be the careful, little hands, what you do. Cause the Father up above, he's looking down with love. So be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be, be careful, point to your feet, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Cause the Father up above, he's looking down with love. So be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Cause the Father up above, he's looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say.
Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Cause the Father up above, he's looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. All right, friends, we need to be careful what we're doing with our bodies. So make sure you keep singing that song and remember what to do with our hands, our feet, our mouth, and our ears. All right, friends, I'm so glad that we had a wonderful morning together. I was wondering, are you wearing pajamas today? Hmm. If you are, guess what? I'm going to wear my pajamas tomorrow on Tuesday. So if you want to wear your pajamas tomorrow and you're not wearing them today, Go ahead and wear your pajamas tomorrow, all right? I'm going to wear mine tomorrow, too. Now, we're going to go to our special prayer time, all right? I want to tell you that Juliet sent me another prayer request about how she's been sad because she hasn't really been able to see her papa, who she's very close to. And there might you guys might be sad that you haven't been able to see people because we are at home right now. And we are at home because there is something going on around us, right? And so we're going to just pray for Juliet that she can um, maybe talk to her papa on the phone or different things that you can do. Um, and if you are sad too, I'm going to pray for you. All right, so fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear Lord, thank you for this day together at home, Lord. And I ask you to watch over Juliet and all of my friends who are feeling sad that they can't see some people that they love right now, Lord. And I just ask you just to watch over them, Lord, and just protect them, Lord. Help them maybe to make a phone call or something that will help them out. Thank you for this day and this wonderful journey that we're learning about, Lord. Help us to have a wonderful day. Amen. All right, friends. Make sure you send your prayer requests in. And if we don't get to them, we sure will be praying for you no matter what. All right? So... We'll see you next time. See you tomorrow in your pajamas. Bye.